Hello everyone, this is a video that I was really not expecting to make today. Uh, I woke up this morning to find that every single one of the Inspector Wexfords has been removed from my YouTube channel. It was a huge disappointment to me and also I can imagine that it's a very big disappointment to you as well. It's very frustrating because there are other YouTube channels that have some Inspector Wexfords uploaded to them uh, that uh, are still up there. Now, I have got nothing against those other YouTube channels. I'm sure very similar things have maybe happened to other YouTubers and uh, my stuff's been remaining and, and others have disappeared. I'm kind of also frustrated as well because some time ago, uh, before the BBC released onto DVD a programme which was lovely, a lovely children's programme called The Children of Green No. Uh, I was the first person to upload The Children of Green No in its entirety. Before then there were just little seven, eight minute bites uh, that you had to kind of just click together whilst you, you watched them. So I put it together in, uh, in one long episode and uh, the BBC removed it, but somebody else has uploaded to YouTube The Children of Green Know, and it's way more views than what mine ever got to, and theirs is still on there. So I don't know how YouTube, how these things uh, work their way out. So I don't really know what to do at the moment. Uh, I think the best thing I can do is just stay calm for the next few months, uh, see what happens. Uh, the first thing that I noticed that got removed was Heartstones. Uh, somebody else had upload that, uploaded that to YouTube and Heartstones was removed as well. At the moment I still have two other Ruth Rendles remaining on my channel. That's Thorn Apple and Talking to Strange Men. Hopefully they'll remain. I don't know how long they'll remain or, or what's going on. Part of me is wondering why it got removed and I'm thinking potentially the ITV Blue Haven, I think it's called that, people who bought the rights to the Inspector Wexfords and the Ruth Rendell Mysteries. Perhaps they're thinking about releasing them either on to DVD, Blu-ray, or maybe on something like Amazon Prime, Netflix, maybe it's going to be more available, almost lost my hat then, uh, more available uh, for people to, to download and watch. Now, when I upload these videos, it was never the idea that I wanted to pirate I always wanted to make sure that um, I uploaded programs that weren't available for people to enjoy uh, from streaming services or say something like DVD because these Inspector Wexfords, a lot of the earlier ones released on VHS and I was going around buying on eBay, Amazon, the Inspector Wexford VHSs and transferring them across so that they could be put onto my YouTube channel. So um, I wouldn't say it's the most hardest work because it's not like doing documentaries. And I've done a couple of documentaries like the uh, English Pool Players Association, the men's seniors. I know how much work goes into a documentary when you make it from scratch. But there were many hours that I put together checking through that uh, these Wexfords were okay and of good quality for you to watch. And, now they seem to have disappeared. So I'm not just sure, I'm not sure if it's just disappeared from my own YouTube channel uh, for those watching it in the UK, or whether if you're in America, whether you can still watch them. Whatever's happening right now, if you can let me know if you can still see my Inspector Wexfords in the comments below, that will be uh, really, really useful and really helpful. I'm, Really sorry everybody because I know how much you enjoy them. My goal is to still go to Porchester. Uh, I've managed to speak to somebody about that who was very helpful, got a couple more contacts and I'll probably know a lot more of what I can do from the 17th of May when more coronavirus restrictions uplift and uh, we can go around a bit more. So after the 17th of May I will give you um, more information about the Inspector Wexford's film location features that I'll be making. However now, because these Wexfords have been removed, they may allow me to put some clips in, into the feature, into the documentary, uh, because it will be classed as clips rather than the, the full 
a whole film that I would pull up. They might allow it, but I think I'm, to be on the safe side, I'm going to make two versions. So I'll upload the one to begin with, with the clips in, but also as well, hidden on my channel, I'll upload another version of it without the clips in. So should it get removed, then I can put that version in anyway. So I do apologize. I know there's nothing I can really do about it. It's uh, YouTube and the ITV. Uh, there were adverts appearing on these Inspector Wexfords. I never monetized any of the videos, so somebody somewhere was getting the revenue from uh, the Inspector Wexfords. There were huge amounts of adverts through it, uh, more than my liking, uh, because uh, like probably a lot of you, uh, I like to at least wait 10 minutes before an advert appears. When you watch television, you know that an advert's coming uh, because it's broken in a good spot. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately, uh, YouTube just set them so they're right in the middle of somebody's sentence, which can be incredibly irritating. Maybe they might start appearing, I don't know, but at the moment, uh, I'm going to sort of concentrate on creating uh, some of my own uploads for this channel. And I've also got a couple of other YouTube channels, which you may well know about. My Paul Goddard NLP and Hypnotherapy, uh, my past life regressions with Paul Goddard, so I'll be constantly doing clean content for that. Clean content means that I don't use anybody else's footage, any other music in it, it's just purely all my own work. And for the next few months, I might be able to find some more things that can go on of detective things that have not been released uh, on any media uh, that are caught in rights hell. But for the meantime, I'm going to just be maybe thinking about pulling some of my own features together for YouTube. It's not going to be as quick because I'm busy. I work as a hypnotherapist and a NLP coach. So a lot of my time is taken up working with clients. But as and when I can, I'll do some content that I've created myself. So give me a few ideas of content that I can create myself that you would really enjoy watching. Anyway, uh, I hope you stay with this channel. Um, I've really appreciated all your comments on the Inspector Wexfords. I can still go in and watch them on my own YouTube channel, but I don't know if any of you can see them anymore. Anyway, uh, I like to end positively, so whatever you're doing, have an outstanding day. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. And if I hear any more news, I will certainly let you know. Thank you for watching.